no sharks out there. It's not. Hey, hold on, hold on. Come here. Alright, here I come. I'm coming to get you. Sight! You do that to me, the relationship over with. You can take the jet ski and drop me straight to the airport. I'm pretty sure there's water around it. Especially, you know, I can't swim. My boy look like, he definitely can't swim. That life jacket is what's keeping him alive for real. And she gonna play them type of games? Come on, son. <laughs> How mad I'll be. Crazy thing is, she wouldn't know how mad I was until we got back on land. I'm just keeping on honey. She wouldn't know how mad I was. But once we touched that sand, men say, ladies, why does our sense of discernment always tell us when a man is being unfaithful, but it is never tells us when a man is unhappy? Mm. And I ain't gonna lie, it kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. We don't be seeing that shit coming. <laughs> but we can tell when that mofo is cheating. Ladies, do you want to answer this in comments? Because I want to know. I'm curious too. It's not common for men to open up about their feelings. We don't open up to our women because we don't want to appear weak. I feel as though every woman should have an understanding that their man is not going to come to them when he has some emotional shit going on. Some men communicate, but a lot of us are not good at communicating. And I say all that to say, ladies, start learning how to read the room. It'll save a lot. Just learn how to read the room. Try again, try again. What? Yeah, you gotta be stopped at some point. Hold on, what is, what is she trying to do? Is she trying to twerk? I hope you wasn't trying to twerk. <laughs> Gentlemen, I had to come back because I was editing the video and I happened to go on this young lady's page. All I'ma say, I don't like the new wrappings for the stud boxes. It's misleading. The way we wrapping these gifts nowadays is misleading. Cause I remember when them studs used to look like Manny Fresh. Ridiculous. See these milkweed plants in these cocoons? You're not allowed to have this on your front porch. This is trash. You have milkweed plants. You have cocoons hanging all over the place on your front porch. This is unacceptable. We cannot have this. I'm going to remove these, okay? I saw you come home, so you answer your damn door. Just answer your damn door. Yo, <laughs> I've had annoying neighbors, but I ain't never had a neighbor this aggressive. This level of aggression is gonna get you slept. Coming to my front door after I just came from work? Yeah, you taking a NyQuil nap. Answer your damn door. Yes, sir, that's right. Did you really pour water on me? You need to come back out here right now. We need to talk. <laughs> sir, no. I'm calling the cops. Is this real? I'm calling the cops. I don't know if that's real, but if it is, throw some water on his motherfucking ass. I've had a neighbor used to complain about everything. I'll get a text message. Are you guys washing clothes? It's 10 o'clock at night. I can't sleep. The dryer is just banging against the wall. Did your wife cook today? The seasonings is coming through the vents. I'm, I'm, I can't breathe. I have to go outside and walk. She was something else. The lady that we sold a condo to, she looked like she don't play. So I could only imagine what type of adventure's been going on. So was it worth going with me today? Mm -hmm. Is that better than ice cream? We don't get ice cream, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. You told me I could have an ice cream. You told me I could have an ice cream if I went with you. You can't have it. Yes, I can. 
you come up and you said you want a the crane. I said, yeah, that'd be fine. But I said, want well, an ice cream too. I ain't going with you no more if you don't do what you say you're going to do. Mm. He putting his foot down. Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but I want to be that old. I want to be that old arguing with my wife about going to Krispy Kreme. And to be honest with you, I, I can see that it don't matter what age you are, your woman is just going to have you on these missions. What is it about y'all in missions? I'm pretty sure where he was at and whatever he was doing, he was at peace. And she just didn't want to see that man quiet. They probably coming from Goodwill. You know, old folks let her go to Goodwill. Oh, I, I want to go look for a blouse at Goodwill. All right, well, shit, I want a donuts and some ice cream. I feel it. Negotiate your price, my brother. Now, I know y'all old, so she probably ain't giving that pussy up like she used to. And that thing probably under construction. But I feel as though donuts and ice cream is a fair trade. Y'all keep sending me this post with this card. Let's talk about it, because this girl was not wrong to me. So, boom, this post went up because the girl mama posted it. She's a 16-year-old honor student in high school, and they gave her this car for her birthday. And she pretty much was just like, girl, you and my daddy drive nice cars. I thought I was going to have a nice car, too. And mama was like, girl, you only 16. It's your first car. You're getting a nice car. And the girl was like... Dang, I really don't like it. And mama was like, you being ungrateful right now. And the girl was like, ma, I'm entitled to feel how I feel. I really don't like it. So here's my thing. Instead of us trying to make our children suppress their feelings, we teach them how to properly communicate. Because this baby really did properly communicate. Let's talk about it. I only had a little musty energy when she was back in the house. Because girl, what is this car? Baby, this car was OAF when I was in high school. My brother drove this car when he was in high school. And he graduated in 2000, okay? I graduated in 07. And I, and never. I understand. Everybody can't afford everything. I get that. I truly do. But we have to come up with solutions when our kids say, hey, this really ain't for me. That's okay. They can help pay for some stuff. Look at this. A 2008 Avenger for $3,700. Y'all go ahead and do this. It's about two fifty dollars a month. Baby girl can pay that. She can work it off or whatever. What y'all think about this though, cousin? Was she wrong for how she approached this situation? At 16, a car is a car. My thing is, if I gift you a car and you don't like it, go get you the car you want. Beggars cannot be choosers. Do you know what I would have done to have a car? Any car when I was 16 in high school? Now, I be seeing motherfuckers. 15 years old, they out here driving around in Hellcats. Giving a 16 year old the keys to 700 plus horsepower is stupid. Oh my god, I'm sorry! You saw that, my people? You saw that? That's a saw, you know that? She threw a glass of water. She's, the wagon. She's going crazy. She threw a cup of water with ice to my camera. Okay. Look, right when you stand in the water, you see? Okay. As soon as she threw the ice and the water, I just dried up my camera. Hopefully, when I finish the video, it's not damaged. She wet me as well and hit me with the ice as well. Okay. Yeah, he's I want snitching. Do you want to do the report? I want her arrested right now. Okay. So PPA, private person's arrest. Okay. Well, all right. Yeah. There could be damage to my camera, and she she throw the I don't know if it's water. It looks like water, but it could have been anything else. And you already know that that's a crime. Okay. That's harassment. What's harassment? Harassment is her throwing the water at you. And hitting me with the ice at the camera too? I asked you if you're injured. You said no. You, I asked you if you have any injuries. You said you have no injuries. Do I have to call an ambulance so she could be arrested? When I was younger, I never really paid attention to the female cops. I don't think it was a lot of female cops when I was younger. Or maybe it was just me being ignorant. But lately, the women police officers have gotten a major upgrade in the looks department. 